So you want to create PS1 style graphics inside Unreal Engine 5 or retro graphics inside Unreal Engine 5 to boost the performance of your game project and to make it more accessible for people with low end laptops and PCs. Um, nothing easier than that. I will show you very quickly how to set up um, exactly that. Uh, we have to turn off a few things inside Unreal Engine 5 and we have to actively um, put in some commands to have PS1 style graphics. So I have here, it's an, it was a very blank uh, empty scene the only thing i edited was a bunch of planes with um with uh with materials and here i have here some cubes and stuff and i added here point lights and i have here a player start wait and here is a little idle character nothing too special about that um, so let's make some improvements to make it more accessible well, very quickly to the assets i um it's it's based on the in-game geometry i modeled nothing but the the little uh, character the little ps1 uh, PS1 screen monster and yeah and I have here three basic materials as you can see with pixelated uh, textures so okay let's enhance our project and set it up for future uh, projects to do the same so let's go into edit Project settings. Let's go down to rendering. Scroll down to default settings here. And here we can unplug the ambient occlusion, untoggle, bloom. And here on the aliasing on none and the ASAA sample count also to none. This will already boost our performance a bit. And as you can see, we get here on the edges a bit more pixelation going on. A very crucial thing is the frame rate. Frame rate. We have here smooth frame rate or fixed frame rate uh, by default nothing is activated from both that means your graphic cards and your pc will have exit access to all of its performance that's not good we don't need 300 fps for a game especially not for a retro game so with those two options you have here, for example, fixed frame rate, very simple. You say my, um, you say a value, something like 30 frames a second, and your game runs at that frame rate. A bit more retro um, would be, for example, 15, but I mean you can also go with higher numbers. But it will be will be fixed. You can be a bit more flexible with smooth frame rate. You can say uh, a minimum value and a maximum value and a desired minimum rate and automatically according to, uh, lead to the performance of the PC your game project is played on, it will search in the um, space between those values. I like to go with fixed frame rates. Let's go with 30. And that's so far what you can adjust inside the project settings. Um, I have to say there's, there's a lot more you can adjust and tweak and get stuff out of. But those are the, the 
I say the, the, the big basics um, for getting more performance out of your retro um, project. Let's hit export, save those settings. So next time we start up the engine and this project file, we start with those settings. We have here, for example, mobile. Those are the settings for mobile, but I'm, I'm not doing a mobile game, so hey. And the rest, you can leave the rest as default. Let's give this a try to see how it's currently running in the current state. So we have a comparison full screen. Okay. This is the current state with 30 frames a second. No anti-aliasing and pixel textures. Already pretty retro and cinematic if you ask me. Now let's go to the crucial settings. The thing we get really, really, really a lot of performance out of and really nice crisp pixelation out of this current uh, project and situation. The thing is you can set up that uh, before you start your project with a plank project or on your current project. Um, you know what you have to do inside the project settings and now let's chat, check out what we can else do. For that I need you to go inside the folder of your project. In my case I saved my project under documents, unreal projects, and here I have all my projects, plank project. And now you have to go under configure and here under default engine. Okay, so I will go slowly through it, scroll down until you find anti-aliasing here and above is te uh, temporary. So let's make, let's make here a space between. Okay. So um, before that, we set up the MSAA count to none, but here's still one. We want to change that to zero because this will um, give us some blurriness. Anti-aliasing method to zero. Nice. And upsampling to false. Let's give it a save. Now we have to add a line and the next line is R dot. Those two values will change the shit out of your project and you get a lot of performance out of them. So the screen percentage is basically determine um, how much of your current re uh, uh, resolution of your um, screen in that case is getting displayed. By default it's 100. So I have 1920 uh, by 1080. So 100% would be exactly that. And if we change this here to 50, it will only display half of the resolution. So the performance shoots all the way up and we get more pixelation. Um, to achieve this PS1 style amount of pixelation, we have to go with one third 25. Let's give this a save and let's give it a try. I again start, wait, let me show you. I again start the game here, standalone game. Um, the big difference is uh, the standalone game will actually display the game how it will end up when you ship it new editor window this will is more for preview purposes and stuff and this is really how it's going to end up so if you want to check out your ps1 graphics try it on this one please so let's yeah give it a save and now we should get only uh, one fourth one fourth of the resolution, 25% of the total screen resolution. We have a nice amount of pixelation.
pretty nice. And we pushed our performance through the roof. And one thing left, the upscale quality, I would also put in here um, one to just put a cap on it and to get a nice crisp pixelation. Let's try it again. Nice crisp pixels. Awesome. For comparison, I will show you how it will look like upscaled. So if we put in here, for example, one and here one, that would be the default amount. Uh, but still with the screen percentage of 25, we will get blurry outlines. No crisp pixelation. Here, as you can see, it's one fourth of the resolution, but very blurry. And we want crisp pixelation. So let's switch it back. It's very important that you really type in upscaling quality and screen percentage with upper letters and stuff like that. So put that in your default engine file, give it a save. That in combination with the project settings from before will let you end up with this nice graphics. I hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. And if you want to help me big time, consider becoming a Patreon. Um, well, and now watch, watch one of, of those videos.